welcome to my channel. I am Dorica, and if you're new here, by all means, get comfortable. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Look around at the content that I create. If you find that you like it and you want more, please like and subscribe. And for my returning subscribers, I want to thank you for coming on back. Remember that you all are always welcome in my house. In today's video, we're going to be sublimating on a plaque, a glass photo plaque. This is the box that it came in. I got it from my local craft store. Um, it is this plaque right here and it all it looks like it already got something right here in the corner I don't know what that is but it won't come off but hopefully it won't affect anything so it's this plaque right here and it has this little attachment to go to it to stand it up um, like that on the end so yeah so this is what we're going to be sublimating today and so if you want to see what I'm going to be putting on this plaque you already know come on let's okay y'all so we're over at my heat press and this is the um the glass uh, photo slate again right here and like I said there's some on the bottom I cannot get that off I don't know what it is um it was packaged like that so I hope it doesn't mess up anything but so this is the front side and this is the glossy side you do not want to put your image on this side you want to have it facing the back so that's the reason you do not you do not mirror your image when you're doing this do not mirror your image and also you want to make sure so this is the bottom make sure that your um image is facing right because this is the bottom this is where your, your um, frame is going to stand up at so you want to make sure that you do not Put your image in the wrong direction because you want don't put it upside down and so actually i'm going to take this right there and i'm going to just line it up so i can see it like so and get a center I think that's about right and then I'm going to put some tape on the sides to kind of help it stay in place So I got that in place. So now I'm just going to flip it over like so. Then I'm going to cover it with a Teflon sheet. Actually, I'm going to get some uh, butcher paper first because I didn't get any fire and cover it in. Sorry about that, y'all. So I'm going to cover that. And then I'm going to put my Teflon sheet on top. And we're going to press at 400 degrees for 330 seconds. So there we are. Let's go. Hope it comes out right. Let's pray it comes out right, y'all. What we got? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Y'all praying? Y'all praying? Because I am. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared to look. I'm scared to look. Let's see. Uh, 
good from the back. Let's see what the front look like. Let's see what the front look like. Let me get some oven mittens or something because y'all know I pick up hot stuff in a minute and burn my fingers. Ooh. Turn it around. And there we are. Could have made the words darker, but let's take this tape off. Hot, hot, hot. So, that is it, y'all. Okay, y'all, so get into it. This is our final product, and I think it came out good um, for my first one. So, I will be doing more, maybe for graduation, baby. Birds, um, I might put them on my website once it's finished next week. I'm excited about it. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I do. I do. You ain't ready to leave my house. But guess what? Guess what? You already know. You ain't got to go home though, but you're going to have to catch me in my next video. Please like and subscribe. Until then... Bye, y'all.